is Victor. We have some nice. TFNN headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNet headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's Friday. It's Jobs Friday. It's noon, middle of the trading day, and quite a market to finish up quite a week in the markets. We have the Dow Jones negative 348 points, trading 24,158. S&P is negative by 26, trading at 2635. And the NASDAQ negative by 54 points, trading at 7,021. You get the gold contract up almost $7, trading at 13. 35 and the dollar index down 289 ticks trading at 89865. So this morning 8:30 a.m. Eastern time we get non-farm payrolls that number coming in at 103,000 versus an expectation of 193,000. We saw some wage growth to the tune of 0.3%. There you go. Estimate was 0.2%. So pretty much in line, nothing too startling to the market. What you did have startling the market last night, President Trump tweeting, was it a tweet saying either way, $100 billion in additional tariffs could be on the table for Chinese products. So we jump over to the Nadex platform. There is your moment that the news broke that the administration that Trump had directed, I believe, the Treasury to look at imposing an additional $100 trillion, $100 billion, excuse me, dollars on Chinese goods. And from there, the market kind of tanks. We build back up to quite a number, almost 24,400 as of about 10 a.m. And from there, Dow Jones trading 24,100. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar pattern, trading 65.47. S&P 500, again, you see the slide, market climbs back, and then 10 o'clock, we kind of trade negative, 26.32. Crew contract, trading lower as well, 62.35. Gold contract, getting a bit of a bid, almost an inverse relationship in the markets, 13.35. And Bitcoin, 66.15. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Basil Chapman coming up right now at the Tiger Technician's Hour. Full day of programming at TFNN. Have a great day, folks. Stay tuned.